Okay, I was wrong. So, yeah, okay, Erika is right. Or you can just knock from outside like I said, throwing the letter Fury, still valid. Still valid? This is dumb as fuck, but also valid. <laughs> Devil proof not working anymore. Great, another red truth. Hello and welcome, Pocket Watch here, and it's about time for another episode of Umineko Chiru. Yeah, last episode. We ended up with Butler jumping through the window and stuff, so great! <laughs> and I want to like uh, tell you that I appreciate like all your comments under the uh, Detective Authority uh, episode. There was like a lot of comments under this one and I want to like point out one, uh, one funny one, uh, which was from Vinicius. That he likes to call this arc the punching bag arc, and I can agree with that. Poor Datsuki, like, what's happening here? <laughs> Poor Datsuki. So yeah, I guess we'll go to the next episode and we'll see what's going to happen next. But... First, I want to give special thanks to my channel members, because thanks to you I can grow this channel. And I appreciate your support and that you find me worthy, so thank you. Once again, and yeah. Let's go! Let's go to the episode and let's see what will happen next. I'm excited. When we finish this, we're going to definitely... We're going to definitely do... Uh, streams and we'll try to analyze like my previous theories and see if we can change something. What? What's, what a weird request, what? Kanara slowly got up and stood on one leg, as she had been ordered. Why Erika on like... Erika on a uh, game board can like... Push around the beings from Meta World. I mean, you give gave me like Dungeons and Dragons... Uh, analogy, like uh, how I can see Erika. Erika is basically like cheating. She's like looking in the internet, the stats of monsters and stuff, even as a player, you know. And even if her, like her piece don't know this, she just like checking internet for stats. <laughs> I like that analogy. I kind of feel like it with that threats and everything. Her hands were clasped uh, behind her back, because she had been ordered to do so. Then, with a loud thump, Erika shoved her from behind with both hands. Oh my god, Kronel landed on the floor with face, uh, with floor face first, with a thud. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What the fuck? Cornelia rose shakily, then once again she stood on one leg, as she had been ordered. She had ordered not to try to keep her balance, so she had fallen on her face over and over. What?! Oh my god, Erika is so twisted. She had barely managed to protect her nose, but after smashing against the floor so many times, her face was bright red. She wasn't shedding any tears. No, she couldn't shed them. Because she, she was forbidden to do even that. What the fuck? How long are you going to keep this? This is pissing me off. Oh my god, shut up! Are you serious? I hate it. Erika repeated the f falling torture over and over again. At uh, times like this, Erika hated counting things. So she decided that when she ran out of fingers to keep count on, she would just keep on doing until she lost interest. Great. However, Erika's main redeeming feature was that she never lost interest in anything. So, she tortured continued on without end. Rika didn't know the truth of why Cornelia had been unable to fully protect the window. So the whole time since then, she had been criticizing her, blaming her entirely for her their defeat. 
慎で申し上げたてまつるコーネリアの戸がを許したまえすでに彼女の戸がのみそぎには十分なるわああそうですかではここからはあなたが代わってくださいカートルードに戸がはなきなりや This is so like ガートルード立ってください片足で両手は後ろで組むようにガートルードフォローザーオーダーオーマーガーデンスエピソードソーラーディピシックミオフエンクラスプカランビハンドルスバックスタンディングワンレグ大手踏みとどまってはダメですね膝を折ることも許しません涙をこぼすことも許しませんからいいですねよいカートルードあれがとくよタイムウォーキングビハインドカルトルード She has been enjoying making her wonder when she would push This is so bad I hate it At that moment get shooting could area burst in bright light and it disappeared Danor had returned at some point and had sent uh, and had sen sent them back to heaven for the time being. Erika, who had her fun spoiled, directed an openly malicious expression at Danor. Miss Erika, Waga Buka no Toga wa Joshi no watashi ga seoimasu. Douka Buka o oyurushi kudasai. No thank you desu. Oh my god. Oshioki ってのは苦痛を与えるから意味があるんです。傷一つつかない。無痛覚の人形女など、面白くも何ともありません。うん。レカストリーグラップ、ホールドザブラック、え、オブザバック、オブザノルスヘア、アンタグドネット、アンレレントイングリー。ダノルスネック、タイトルザナトルリーバックオーズ、クレクリング。傷はつきませんが、傷つきはします。あんたに傷つく心なんてあるわけもないです魔女狩り殺人人形の分際で私に口答えする気ですか大ベルンカステル教の死者にして分身のこの私に Yeah So mighty いいえあんたらが使えないから私がベルンカステル教にお叱りを受けるんです Yeah we remember that That happened 二度と無様な真似は見せないでください。いいですね。I so don't like her. <laughs> she pulled back the hair and、uh, the hair she had grabbed even more strongly. This didn't cause Lenor any physical pain, but she could clearly feel Erika's ill will. 失礼しました。お許しください。クズが。With a sound like the Taut. A Taut stinks snapping. Okay, sorry if you can hear that. Shit. One second. I will try to like a bit like mute this at least. Okay, I'm back, sorry. I'm not going to cut this out. It's, it's just like. Quick, just movement. Oh my god, the cables, the cables. Oh my god, okay, that's fine. She ripped out several strands of Lano's hair. Then, if you can hear these like weird noises, I'm sorry, this, like the renovation is still going on. It will be like a while before it's like. Ends, so yeah, we need to bear with this for now at least. I'll try to like mute this or something, but I don't know if I can. It's weird, like background noise. Okay, I'm back. Uh, should be muted at least a bit. I think I did that in post processing, like after I、like, record and stuff. So maybe you can hear it like very, like not much really, but hopefully. <clears throat> Then Erika waved her hand about as though trying to shake off something dirty that had gotten stuck to it. 
これで終わりにしますようやく私の怒りも収まり灰色の脳細胞がうずいてきましたからあの使えない2人を呼び戻して現場の再構築をしてください推理ゲームを始めましょうわかりましたガートルードコーネリアよい<笑> okay, for a second I thought like they will not come back The two of them reappeared behind Lanor. And I reconstructed the crime scene for Erika, the one who had just been tormenting them. Yeah, because Kinzo's disappearance have nothing to do with the first Twilight, so yeah. We still have like mystery to go on. そうです。一見、物語はその瞬間に人間の誰にも不可能であったと語り、未知の魔女が存在しているかのような幻想を作り出しています。タイラピスは考えたことがないので、あなたは何を言うのかを考えています。あなたは何を言うのかを考えています。あなたは何を言うのかを考えています。There were some people outside of the conference room. And it couldn't be Natsuki, of course, because she was in the room. There, there were like definitely like options, so I don't know why she like saying that it's impossible. They weren't dead then. I swear the drilling is so annoying. You have no idea. I hope you can like really bear with this. Like Because it's like keeping on like for the like full day. And like Wasting full day of like not recording makes like everything more scary for me basically and stressful because I cannot like push episodes on time and stuff. And I you know that you are waiting and you want the episodes on time, so yeah. I hope I can like just like mute this somehow. I will see. If I cannot like mute this, then I will like record after this. I'll record after this and I will just like push myself like a bit more, I guess. And you will have like better quality videos basically because of that. And I would like to have the best quality you can have. So yeah, maybe I should just like wait and like record like at night or something, I don't know. The family conference last night was conducted with the adult relatives and Balder present. And partly though, the servants arrived to serve the tea. Yeah. Erika is doing what I'm doing on my discussions on streams, basically. She's like creating parties who was where. That's good. Yep。They left. And cousins were together. If I'm correct, Nanjo was alone, I think. No, Goda and Kumasa were alone, and Nanjo was with cousins, I think. I'm not sure. 
Well, we'll do this on stream. Later. Okay. Yep. Also, it's it's like if you can like see on this red, before a family conference left, mentioned and moved to the guest house. It doesn't mean they that like none of these left the guest house at the time, uh, any time. So it's just like confirming that they left to the guest house, but they could take them back. But still, as I... But anyway, yeah. Sorry, I should like not talk over characters. Uh, anyway, yeah, that must be like one of these three, I think, because it must be someone who had access to the... Uh, to the ring. And basically these three had only the access to the ring. Unless one of the other servants like snitched it out from, from like one of them. Like uh, Genji or something. I mean uh, Goda, for example. Oh, it was locked. Okay, I forgot about this detail. Thank you, Lonor. おや、おや。それでは屋敷内の誰にも食堂の扉をノックして手紙を書くことはできないということになりますね。そうなります。その人物こそが手紙を記した魔女ベアトリーチェである。<笑> ドラマ女側の主張でしょう。バカバカしい。くだらないトリックです。手紙が24時の瞬間に置かれた保証はありません。それ以前にもう置かれていたと考えるのが常識的です。it actually makes sense. That's a very good point, you know? It could be one of the people who left to the guest house. Like, if they were still inside, they left. And someone, like, left behind for a second. Like, uh, he said, uh, Okay, guys, I will be back. I will follow you to the guest house in a second. I need to go back and talk to... Best of X. And, yeah, I will, I will follow up you too. And he came back, planted the... Uh, the letter and went back and uh, he had like he was cooperating with uh, one of the three people that were inside the mansion and one of these like knocked later that's also a valid point they could do that and they could cooperate with Genji to knock that's a good point as well Never mind then. I'm okay. Yeah, this is like my initial thought. Like I was like talking all the time, like Kraus, Natsuki, or Genji, because they had the access to the ring and they were like on the same floor. Now it, I think it, it was Natsuki because she, she was like in the room. We know that. Well, they don't know that. So I guess this blue truth is still valid because they have no idea about Natsuki's situation. So yeah, one of these three. So I can see how they, how Erika can still blame Natsuki for everything. Good point. I was like uh, saying before that uh, they left the guest house but could go back. But yeah, they left and moved to the guest house but they could like hide inside. That's also valid. It's pretty much the same as coming back. So, yeah. Pretty much what I said. Kinke, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
まずノックが確かに食堂の扉を叩いたものなのか疑います OK I didn't thought about that I didn't thought about this kind of perspective This episode Like, episode 5 is so amazing at giving examples of blue truth, of using the blue truth. It's so good. I can finally learn how to make proper theories <laughs> in the mysteries. Like, it could be a branch hitting something, like window, and they could just hear it muffled, probably, or something like that. Or something like that. I didn't thought about that. I don't know the, like, how constructions work, but maybe it's possible. Okay. Yeah, this is, this is the branch theory that I presented a second ago. Like some branch hitting the window or something. That's also valid! Holy shit! Erika, you are so good at this! Holy crap! You are so good! Yeah, they were all good. Oh shit, okay. Let's let's see. Which will shatter? Okay. You said in red. It's not red. そして扉を開けたらそこに置かれていた片翼の星の封筒の手紙。Okay. So Kraus Natsuki and Genji did not touch that letter. So it's either someone who's hiding in the mansion, someone who left the mansion and came back, or it's very, very, very ultra specific red. Yes, I know, I like making reds too specific, even like painfully specific. <laughs> because we can stretch it, stretch touch into like physical touching, so if they use something to move the letter, they don't touch it. Technically, right? For some reason. Maybe they like for example, what if we say that only like a, like body touch is a touch, you know? So what if they were just like gloves or had like some kind of like cloth and they don't want to have like fingerprints on it, so they just like take it and just like put it down. It's not counting as touching in my book. I mean kind of it counts as touching, but also didn't. It depends on perspective, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm sometimes getting like too specific and too crazy about this, but I think it's good. I like thinking like different like perspective and opportunities that you can make with Mineko. Okay. To enter the dining hall. Okay, we had established though, I mean it was in the white I guess, that they verified that nothing suspicious as a letter was on the ground when they entered. Okay, no one placed the letter, so that's changing my touch problem entirely. So it must be someone who went to the mansion, to the guest house and came back. 
or pretend that to go, to go out. Again, is it Golda? <laughs> I mean, the only per the only person like if you think about this, from people who left the mansion, the only person who knows about Kings of Death and about like whole plot is Nanjo. Among these old people who left, so it makes sense that would be Nanjo who plays that. If you ask me, he's like the most potential culprit. Like even if the in the question arcs theories, he's like the most potential like. Uh. Suspect. I mean, not as the culprit, but like in general, someone who helps because he knows the truth about Kinzo death. Because he's Kinzo is dead, and he claims that yeah, he's alive. That that was the case from the like all question arcs. You can't say no one touched it. Interesting. So, Kraus Natsuhi. Genji did not touch. Not a single in the hallway planted it. So, I hope I managed to record enough samples of this weird noise and I can like delete this in the post production. Because suddenly they started drilling, not somewhere there. But right above me. I've waited like several minutes and nothing changes. Great. Uh, <clears throat> anyway. Go back to the topic. So. This three never touched the letter, but it doesn't mean like other people didn't touch it. So. Someone had to be aware. Some of the people inside the mansion. At midnight. We're aware of that letter. Kraus Natsuhi Genji did not touch, but someone was aware of that. So technically, it could be multiple people. It could be like, for example, it could be Canon. Oh, it did not placed the letter. Okay, so Kraus Natsuhi Genji placed the letter. But the people in the dining hall were aware of that, at least some of them. So let's say Genji put this with my touch fury, right? Like uh, through like some something that he don't leave like fingerprints. And then Shannon and Canon will be like surprised. Oh no, what's happening? What's that letter? And they obviously know about that. That's like like initial like thought. Okay, uh, that makes sense. It's not specified where it was placed at, uh, at start. Place that letter in the hallway. That's very specific. I missed that. Good job, Bern. Nice. I'm so going to dive into Red Truths once again on streams. That it's going to be fun. I can already tell it that this stream about episode 5 will be so much fun. <laughs> Makes sense. They're so good at this. Oh my god. I'm simply no match for them. Holy shit. Like seriously, if someone have like experience with mystery games and mystery novels and stuff, maybe they can think of, of stuff like that. I don't know, I never thought about like stacking this under the wheel or something. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, I had to record another sample of knocking this time. I guess it's classic for someone who knows about mystery games. Yeah, that if the, uh, that if that would like uh, be inside the dining hall, that would be like total chaos, you know? That would be like total fucking chaos. Like, who plays that? Oh my god! And they were like, everyone would be like looking at each other. Yep. Yep. Well, we had a lot of uh, arguments about Nox, so we need some of your red truth in order to determinate if our theories are wrong or not because we had the like branch talking to the window i mean uh, knocking to the window we had someone knocking on the column above whatever okay give us the red okay so we still have the Opportunity of under uh, like luck. I mean, if you think about this, Bergcastle is witch of miracles. She got a lot of luck with that letter. So probably some branch just knocked to the windows or something, and they thought that it's like knocking. Or it was like someone who actually like you know uh, hide inside the mansion. <laughs> Okay. Okay, but someone else could do that. Like Nanjo? And unintentional means as well. Okay, I was thinking like maybe someone like collapsed, like you know, uh, on the stairs and that was like the knocking sound. But unintentional is as well out of uh, a sight, so let me just go back for, for a second because I don't remember uh, who remain only were on the second floor. We're on the dining hall. Is it possible that like one of the people who went to the guest house came back? Uh... Among all people in the midnight. Yeah, that was not debunked. Yeah, that was not debunked. So it's still some it's still like one of these could just hide in the mansion. Those who remain. In the second floor corridor, while all others are in the dining hall. Is this like meaning like the whole mansion? I'm not entirely sure what to make out of this because it says that they were on the second floor. This is very specific because it can mean that on the other floors can be some people and all others were in the dining hall. So I guess it means like all people in the mansion were siblings and this three. Is that it? If that's like all the people that can be, if that's the case, then no one hiding and the knocking is just accident. But like branch or something. Okay. 
近県謹んで申し上げたてま24時の時点で2回廊下にいたクラウス夏日源氏の3人 So at the time of knocking 食堂にいた全員以外の一切の人間は屋敷内に存在しなかった Okay now that's Okay that's the, that's the banking the stuff and now this is the final confirmation of amount of people inside of the mansion Okay that's good we needed that at 24 and this is very specific because that can mean that there were people before 24 there could be people uh, before the 24 in second from corridor and all people in the dining hall no other humans existed inside the mansion okay so that was some un unidentified sound then what if? I kind of... I need to like... Okay. Can you guys like list for me the Nox rules that we had so far? I'm not sure if the lack of... Uh, hidden like, you know... Like hidden doors and stuff, it's only applied to the closed rooms or it's like in general, like in the story, cannot be like hidden door. Because what if someone, because they say that all of people in dining hall, it's not specified who. So what if someone is hiding in the dining hall? What if they left the mansion and entered the mansion through other door? Like some hidden door, or they never left the mansion and just like came back through like some hidden door, and they're hiding inside the inside the dining hall. That could mean that they knocked. Actually, knock uh, happened at twenty-four, so it doesn't mean doesn't matter. Okay, it doesn't change anything. I think even if like someone's hiding there. Because knock happened at 24, and the red truth is valid for 24, so it couldn't be anyone like that. Okay, let's just continue. Okay. A direct knock refers to someone literally hitting a door to make a knocking sound. An intentional knock refers to someone creating a fake knocking sound with intent to make it appear that someone knocked. An unintentional knock refers to someone unintentionally creating a fake knocking sound. Coincidental knock refers to some kind of coincidence creating a fake knocking sound. Okay, this is very specific and I very like it. This one clarifies stuff for me, actually. This one is clarifying stuff for me. Impossible for anyone who was in the mansion. It's entirely possible that someone who left the mansion knocked. They could knock to the window or knocked into like the closest possible like place. Uh, where, it, where it is. Also, we know they have ladders outside. So, they could, like, use the ladder, get to, like, second floor and just knock. And that would, like, create a sound from people who is, like, outside of the mansion. They're not inside and the, and the people, like, inside would still think that's a knocking to the door. That's entirely possible. That's my blue roof for now. Because it can be either, like, a random branch because this specified... Uh, oh, in addition to Kraus, Natsuki and Genji. Okay, never mind. So, it couldn't be like accident. Okay. So, it must be someone who left the... Who left. And I think they need the ladder to get to the second floor. So, it must be someone who had the key to the shed. Or whatever place where they would like have some kind of ladder. And that would be probably... 
probably Goda. So Goda and Nanjo probably cooperating at this point. Or just or it's just like work of Goda. That's the, that's like my initial thoughts for now. But inside the mansion. Anyone who was in the mansion also included any unknown person X who was secretly hiding in the mansion. Yep, it doesn't matter, someone from outside that. Therefore, this literally meant that it was impossible for anyone inside the mansion to knock with no wordplay allowed. It's trivial for me. <laughs> I did. To, I, I had to do the like Erika interpretation interpretation stuff. But that was debunked. That was debunked, right? Creating fight knocking sound, intent to make it appear as someone knocked. That's what that would be this one, intentional. So it's the bank already, Erika. I I don't know why you said that then. But it's the bank! It doesn't matter you were inside. In addition to Kraus, Natsuki and Genji. So these three didn't knock, and w any of this kind of knocking couldn't like happen. Oh wait, I'm wrong. Wait, I'm wrong. That just means that any no one could knock. That's okay. Th this just means like Kraus, Natsuki, and Genji couldn't do any of this stuff. I think. Right? I'm reading this wrong. None of those in the dining hall knocked. In addition, none of those in the dining hall were knocking. Okay, so yeah, it's uh, just saying about the people inside. So these things can still apply to the people who are outside. So the cassette tape still works. Okay. I just like uh, kind of like missed that part. None of those in the dining hall knocked. And I just like kind of like missed that part and said like in additional. And I thought like knocking like in general. Okay, I was wrong. So yeah, okay, Erika is right. Yep, no problem. Yeah, the problem is that the culprit didn't knew that letter will be behind the door. Because if we go with the theory that he put the letter under the card, then he had no idea where that would be. So if you place the cassette to be played, that would be weird, right? If like letter would be like inside the room and someone knock outside suddenly. Also where the Cassettes would be. They would find it, right? Or that. Yeah. You the trick in Erika theory about the letter being struck to the serving card was accurate. In the location that the letter felt was matter of fact. But it's still Bluetooth, which is valid. So unless we get red, we can still go with this. We learn that. We can do a lot of like weird theories. The people in the dining hall were able to notice it due to knock only because it fortunately fallen near the door. And another cut, I'm sorry. However, if the location it fell it was a matter of chance, it might have landed at the far off kitchen. Or even remained stuck the entire time. If that had happened, 
the knock would have been ignored, as though they would just imagine it. In other words, the knock by itself carries no message at all. Only the combination with the letter is the knock capable of asserting that someone existed there. In that the case, in that case, the knock can be combined with the fury of the letter falling from the bottom of the uh, serving cart at the random location. Or you can just knock from outside, like I said, because you were you were like observing uh, through the window if the letter, how far the letter uh, went, you know. Someone could be observing through the windows uh, and see if the like you know letter just is like off the mark or it's like safely inside the dining hall or before, and then they saw it falling down. And they knocked because they needed the attention from uh, from the dining hall. I mean, from the uh, conference room. The letters must be reliably positioned on the other side of the door, so that it can be discovered thanks to the knock. However, it was declared in red that no one in the mansion placed the letter in the hallway. Yeah, so someone from outside. What if they throw the letter through the window? That's valid as well, right? They could uh, use a la uh, the la uh, they could use ladder to get to the corridor on the second floor, open the window, throw the ladder to the door, and then knock on the window, and then get the hell out of there. Valid blue, I tell you, valid blue. Do you do do you like when I'm like doing this like? weird fast like furies like random stuff because they're not like genuinely furious like i can think like for hours on streams like we have like 10 hours stream and we can like just analyze stuff but this is just like random quick shots do you like that let me know in the comments i hope you do because i enjoy it i can do less of it if it bothers you but you know i like it Okay. Throwing the letter fury, still valid. Still valid! It's still not debunking the fury about uh, putting the let the blue about putting the letter under the card as well, because someone who left the mansion could put that under the card, basically. So, it's still valid. It still requires a lot of luck, but it's still valid. It's still valid blue. うまいこと扉の前に手紙を落とせるように思えるかもしれない。いや。しかしこれもダメなのよ。配膳者を停車させることが廊下に手紙を置くという行為を間接的に示している。Good one. Good one. I didn't thought about this this way. Maybe I should go back. Okay. I should think about this specific red and this specific situation and go back to the red web maybe maybe that will clarify some stuff for me because this is totally different way of thinking that i used to have back when i was doing my theory videos about question arts this is very specific like this is more specific than i thought it's also mean the actions of the person and the object they're interacting with it's not like the person themselves as well huh still throwing the letter through the window let's go with that そこまで配膳者を押した人間によって偶発的に無意識に置いたことになってしまう。もちろんこれもダメ。復唱要求。Repetition 
Getting potential suspects from the outside? Safe. Someone in the dining hall slipped out the window just for the instant of midnight. And uh, didn't exist in the match at the time. That's a good play. Wow. Baron Castle, you are so fucking good. With a bit of wordplay like that, it might be possible to get around with the red truth. That's true. Also throwing the letter through the window. Uh, yeah, that's the valid repetition. Also, it doesn't make sense to me really, you know? Because someone in the dining hall slipped through the window? Come on. Someone would not realize, like, one person opening the window on, like, second floor and just jumping off? I don't buy it. Okay, we can say this is the blue truth. Yes, we can make a theory li like that. It's ridiculous as hell, but it's not debunked, okay? They never said, like, th maybe they were all blind. Maybe they were just so focused on the... On on something like, I don't know, on something and they just didn't realize that one person just left. Maybe that happened. Maybe. ふくしょうよ、君。気前よく後を<笑> マシュマロとコンペイトーのスクラブで全身マッセージしてあげるよ。わお。デプライプ。生川はハゲるくらいにゴリゴリと。絶対よ。約束だからね。ジュルディ。What <笑> Okay, so it narrows our uh, suspects to Nanj and God, I guess. It depends, actually, to Kumasawa as well, because she knows about Kinzo as well, like, uh, as Nanjo. So maybe it's Kumasawa and Nanjo, actually, not Goda. They could both do that, actually. It's one of these three. Or, like, two of them. I don't remember exactly where, who was with who at the time. I don't remember. Did we even like had the, did we even saw what was like in the guest house? I should go back. I, maybe I should like get on Discord from you the LP archive for Umineko Chiru because I have LP archive for question arcs, but not for Chiru. Actually, no, I will not do that yet. I will not check LP Archive for Chiru yet, because I might get, like, by accidentally spoilered by that, so... I will just wait until I end episode 5, and then I will use LP Archive to, like, remind stuff and stuff, so... Yeah. I will check LP Archive after I finish the episode 5. It will be more, like, safe. But yeah, I'm curious, like, who was with who, basically? The stuff I'm always doing. In other words, try as we might, these uh, those eight people, including Erika, can't exist inside the mansion, much less in front of the door. Yeah, also, if for example, like, Nanjo was with kids all the time, that means that would be Goda or Kumasawa or both of them. If Kumasawa was with Erika George, then that means these two, you know what I mean. Okay, another cat. And at the same time, try as we might. Those who are inside the mansion can't exist outside the mansion. <laughs> this is dumb as fuck, but also valid. <laughs> I don't believe it. Like, usage of, like, theory making is ridiculous in episode 5. It's even better than small bombs that Butler came up with. They could have to just like observe from outside, I guess. 
even if they they didn't have to open even the window for that, they could just like observe through the window if the letter came out, and if it's like on the ground, they just like knock on the window. Yep. Ooh. Shots on Erika. Never touched serving card and was not in the. Okay, so still throwing the window through the window is still valid. But that's the devil's proof. You cannot use devil's proof according to the uh, the commandment that uh, Lenore said in the previous episode, the last one. I think it was eight or nine. One of them. Impossible from anyone outside of mansion to influence anything inside. Throwing through the window and knocking from outside is still valid. Once again, my theory is going around the red. I think. I think it's still valid. Anyone outside the mansion to influence anything inside after the start of the family conference? But setting up something, like Erika said, would be influencing inside because someone had to put like some kind of like trap or device that literally is the letter basically and that would be influenced by this person from outside and they cannot inf uh, interact with the inside so it's impossible it's debunked already <laughs> What blue truth? She never said that in the blue. What? Oh, you mean like here? What? Oh, invalid. Oh, okay. She tried to say it in blue, but it's like debunked already. So it's invalid and it's in white. Okay, makes sense. Nope. Third rate detective. That's the devil's proof, you cannot do that. Yep, yep. Devil proof not working anymore. My favorite weapon as well, Erika. My favorite weapon as well. It's disabled. Ah. Uh, I love Umineko. I would never expect to liking, like, mystery so much. I never read Mystery before and this is freaking phenomenal. I love it. You should take a little care of like what you think about. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't mean you can like the like reason everything. I guess you're just human. I mean, you're like burn castle pretty much, but still, just a human on the board. Erika face twisted. Those words. That seems to deny Erika. No, Erika deductions were the worst form of torture and humiliation for her. Miss Erika, you can do that actually. Yeah, you don't have to like discover it like now. Later you can get the clues that gives you like some more important stuff. Just like 
a question arcs like you got invi- like important informations in like episode four and it's valid for episode one so it is? But that would be interacting! Oh no, that wouldn't be interacting! To influence with anything inside the mansion. Okay. Asarika made a grab and pulled her through her. Lanor stopped her with those words. So this. No one is treated by what she knows. The truth. All the evidence is not in the case. Waga Haruji, the Gami no Nazo, will always be there. Please give me your time. However, the truth is that no one is treated by what she knows. The truth. Are you going to destroy it, Tom Delta? Honestly,可愛い子ね。ピラの子も本当に可愛い子ね。ピラの子も本当に可愛い子ね。ピラの子も本当に可愛い子ね。ピラの子も本当に可愛い子ね。ピラの子も本当に可愛い子ね。ピ
We have that established because no one from the inside basically knocked. So it must be from someone from outside first. They cannot interact with the inside. And knocking to the window is knocking sound. Okay, this is awfully specific, I don't like it. Sound of something truly hitting the door. If this is how I think it is, it debunked my window knocking theory. Because it's all about hitting the door. Ha! Huh. All of them would correctly distinguish the knocking sound of something truly hitting the door. So it was something that really hit the door. People from outside cannot interact with inside, so they cannot open the window and throw rocks at the door. Because that would be interacting with the door. Yeah, like how far goes the interacting with things in the mansion? Like, like knocking to the door would be interacting with the mansion inside. Oh, wait! Hitting the door. It doesn't specify which door. So knocking from the outside is still valid. They could knock to the door from the uh, from the outside. They could knock to the front door very loudly, and that could be heard as the knocking to the door. And they thought it's like someone knocking in the in the door to the uh, to the room where they are. Right? That's valid. Still kind of stupid, but valid. Because they would still think that's hitting to the do on the door, and it's from outside. They're not interacting with things in the inside of the mansion, and someone from outside did that. And of course, throwing the letter through the through the through the, through the window. Hitting that door directly would be missing. Fuck you! Okay, I should like wait until she like finish her words. So, so By the way, it's been a while, right? Since I've made like theories. I think like last time it was like in the episode three, I think, or or something that I was like talking and making fury, and then Umineko just destroyed it in like one next sentence. It's been a while since Umineko did that. I think probably. I don't remember. You can let me know in the comments <laughs> if it's been a while. <laughs> it feels like it's been a while. <laughs> yeah, because no one could interact and no one could hit this door. No one from outside could interact with the door. What if throwing rocks is not interacting with uh, within like inside the mansion? I mean that would be like similar to the cart I guess. But this is like the last option I think that we have. Throwing the letter through the window, take some rocks or something and just throw them at the door. They would find rocks probably on the ground, but maybe not. Or they could like have like something on string, like rocks on string, on on the rope, and they just like throw it on the on the door, and then just like take it back, so they wouldn't find it. See, I'm more crazy with blue truths recently. Oh, 
あの扉を叩く以外、ごまかしようはないってことね。いや。ならこういうのはどう？扉をノックしてくれる何かの仕掛けてか、自動のドアノックみたいな仕掛けがあって、それによって手を触れずにノックすることができたとか。But wouldn't that contradict the red truth about not interacting with stuff inside? <laughs> Even my rock throwing theory is wrong. God damn it, Lambda. <laughs> really? God damn it. <laughs> We need someone from outside who knocked with their hand. I have crazy budget theory. I have totally like theory on on mushrooms right now. <laughs> what if the murder already happened? Someone died at that time, right? Someone happened like first twilight already happened at the twenty four. What if they cut off the arm of one of the victim? Tie it up so it won't like make a blood stains and stuff, and throw the hand on the string on the door. That would hit with the hand, <laughs> and they just pull it off through the window. <laughs> it's valid, isn't it? So she knocked. Directly the door. Touch. Hand. 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 Fuck you and you're standing directly in the front of the door. God damn it! <laughs> oh wait! That still can work! My my uh, like severed arm fury can work! Because Natsuki Kraus Genji Involvement in any oh in any knocking. Never mind. Never mind because in any knocking, so indirect as well. Fuck. For a second, I thought like someone someone gave like Genji or Kraus severed arm and they just knocked with this arm. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have a lot of fun with this episode today. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty complicated for Twilight, I agree. <laughs> Why are you laughing? The two witches doubled over laughing. As though it was the most fun thing in the world. This episode have like a lot of like different random furies. <laughs> which are mostly debunked. It was fun though. <laughs> あら、そう。ありがとう。そして失望だわ、エリト。退屈だわ、エリト。この私の駒にして分身のあなたにもお手上げなんて本当に情けなくて笑えるわ。わからないなら、いつまでも沈黙しててちょうだい。
Only when you know the answer. Great. おとなしく駒置き場にでも戻って、誇りをかぶってて<笑> ご安心よ。大丈夫だ、デリタ教。そして我があるし、必ずやお気に入りいただくことができるよう、二度と失望させる活躍を約束いたします。ああ。さすがは私の分身ね。頼もしいわ。なら本当に頑張ってね。いろ